Thanks, viewer, for joining me on this tour of the Australian cane toad in Queensland and Northern Territory. You can hear the cane toad in the background, but I won't run it too long because their sound drives you mad. The cane toad can be identified fairly easily. The big ugly beasts. The skin is rough, dry, and warty. They're gray, all brown, or red brown, with a pointed snout and a bony ridge above the eyes. Cane toads have large glands behind the eyes, which releases a poisonous milky liquid when a cane toad feels threatened. Its skin is dry, rather than moist like frogs. Cane toads blend very well with their environment. With the winter deuce in southern Queensland, they've spread north all the way to the end of the York Peninsula and are now threatening Darwin. It's Just for a bit of fun, we'll play you some music called the Cane Toad Hop. This brief mural outlines the history of the cane toad in Australia. During the 1920s, scientists in Australia were hunting for a cure to the pest, the black cane beetle. Here's the cane beetle here, which is very destructive to sugar cane crops. The cane toad was introduced from Hawaii into Australia as an experiment to see if it would control the black beetle in the Queensland. The scientists uh, bred the uh, cane toads in a quarantine toad house in 1935. In 1936, the quarantine authorities allowed the scientists to release the cane toads into the sugar cane crops with disastrous results. Cane toads lay tens of thousands of eggs and they don't have many natural predators because they're poisonous. In an ironic twist of fate, they failed to control the black beetle which lived high in the sugar cane above the cane toad's reach. Instead, they rapidly spread with great destructive influence, killing many of the native animals that ate them. Cane toads lay one millimeter long black aids. The population of the monitor lizard which eats cane toads has rapidly decreased because they've been poisoned. They do look ugly and vicious, don't they? This cane toad is on the march and they are quite capable of hopping long distances and living off the land, spreading north They conceal themselves very well in billabongs. This gentleman wears rubber gloves for good reason. When excited, the cane toad excretes a uh, noxious, toxic venom. They get the coverage in popular culture 
as this large a replica of a cane toad illustrates. There's a delightful book on cane toads in Australia uh, called An Unnatural History, Cane Toads. And it's been released as a movie by Mark Lewis. If you can lay your hands on a copy, it's absolutely hilarious and very informative documentary. Here are some scenes taken from the documentary movie. Cane toad uh, venom in small quantities is said to be hallucinogenic if it's treated in the right way and to give people visions. It sounds very dangerous to me. For some reason, some people seem to like cane toads. Isn't this one a beauty, a real work? A politician was said to have done up opposition members as cane toads. This cane toad has been done up as a Scottish musician playing the bagpipes in a kilt. Cane toad skin is very supple and can be tanned to make hats, purses, and all kinds of other artifacts. Cane toads themselves can be stuffed. Consequently, there's a real market for cane toads. These stuffed cane toads are holding miniature bottles of liquor, including Bundaberg rum from Queensland. A cane toad uh, purse. A cane toad belt, it's amazing it's strong enough. Cane toads being advertised in a local Darwin store. These cane toads appear to be engaged in, is this the right word, ambiplexus, but it's simply two purses on top of each other. A cane toad purse. Well, I'm getting really tired of cane toad artifacts. I really don't want anything made out of cane toads anyway. There's a very popular market for cane toad racing, particularly amongst young backpackers. People get in and uh, wager on which toads are going to win. And they suddenly buy lots of beer for the event. It's a real money winner for the pubs and quite popular in Northern Queensland and the Northern Territories. There's quite a ritual to it. The uh, toads are put in a circle in the center and when released they start hopping towards an outer circle, perhaps about three meters away. First toad over the line wins. The winner is supposed to kiss the toad, somewhat dangerous thing to do. Do you want to become a certified toad jockey? We'll check out a few ads for toad races in bars scattered. 